Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another video. A lot of you were concerned <laughs> about what was going on in the last video. Needless to say, I'm not going to do anything like that again. It was a poorly received video, so I won't, I won't be doing that again. However, what I was trying to do is that I've seen people used, use the ground anchor to do a whole bunch of stuff, like building a base on the, building a base on the moon, uh, on that arch structure on the very top as well as some other things, but I have not yet seen anybody build a base on the side of a sheer cliff. Mostly because when you put the ground anchor down, it takes a few seconds before it drills into the ground and becomes one with the ground. So if you were to put it on a slope, it starts to slide down the slope before it anchors itself. So in the first video that I will say was pretty much garbage, I was trying to position a craft on the very top of the mountain and then bring down like an arm so that a Kerbal could come out like a scaffolding, like a crane, could come out and place the ground anchor on the side. Needless to say, that kind of craft wasn't going to cut it. So later on at work today, in the blazing heat, good gosh it was hot today, tired doesn't even describe, but anyway, now I know how toast feels like. I was thinking, well why not, why, why, why can't I just fly up there to a point on the cliff and sort of smash my craft into it, not hard, but you know, kind of press up against it and try to put an anchor on there that way. And I know how KSP is and things that are flying, the Kerbals act like they're falling even when they're not. Like if you try to get a Kerbal and walk inside of a cargo bay while a plane is flying or even hovering, the Kerbal will fall down with his arms out like he's diving or falling. I will be shocked if they actually fix that in KSP2. I don't have a whole lot of faith when it comes to small things like that. Because, you know, the devs are like, well, who would do that? Ha! <laughs> uh, try everyone. But anyway, so I thought about building... I thought... I was like, you know what? Look. Look at it this way. You have to somehow trick, trick the game into thinking that you've landed, right? So how do you trick the game into thinking you've landed on a sheer cliff. Well, there are several ways, and one of the ways is to use gears. Gears have this almost suction cup-like thing now, where if they attach themselves to the ground, they, like, really stick on there a little bit. It takes a little bit of force for them before they, you know, un untatch, undetach, or something of that nature. I found this out in a video a while back. I think it was the mini SSTO, or SSRT, where I've discovered this suction cup like feature or <laughs> yeah i'll call it a feature of landing gears compared to not having any landing gears at all so i figured well this is what i'll do i'll i'll give it a go i had i didn't think it was gonna work but i was gonna build myself a very stable easy to control vtol i was gonna fly it over there activate these landing gears like a suction cup and press up against the side of this cliff the VTOL engines would keep me afloat while the back engine would sort of press into the mountainside. With any luck, the craft will sort of be thought of by the game engine as landed. If this was going to be the case, that means I could make a Kerbal walk out there and go into the little cargo bay that I was going to put out in front. They're kind of like little workstation area so that he can he or she could place one of those anchors on the side of the, side of the mountain. It was a good idea. I didn't have much faith in it at first, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Lo and behold, it worked. I was pleasantly surprised. So pleasantly surprised that I gave the, the craft a victory roll on the way out. By the way, I love how the mountains looked with the, with the clouds and the fog. Very ominous. Very intimidating, knowing just the the sheer drop that was underneath me. Well, I on my uh, unfortunately I didn't I didn't bring or for some reason I didn't wasn't able to take the docking ports out and attach it to the ground anchor. So I had to come back and bring docking ports so that it could so I could put docking ports on the ground anchor so I could start anchoring a base on the side of the cliff. When I came back the third time to put a type of base on the side of the cliff, the Kraken had attacked. It unfortunately loaded the ground anchor far away from the cliff. Now, if it's going to do this for the cliff, I can only imagine what's going to do with hilly or bumpy terrain, which doesn't bode well for people who just actually want to build a base on 
relatively level ground. They might come back and their entire base is floating in the air or possibly could explode because of this little Kraken feature. It could be just the fact that it's on a sheer cliff and the computer doesn't really know how to calculate that all that well, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I also noticed that shadow going across Kerbin again, and everyone was trying to say that it's, oh, it's the shadow from Minmus and stuff of this nature, but Minmus is nowhere to be found. It's actually behind Kerbin, and the moon is on the far side, so there is no thing there that could cast a shadow. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Yes, so, um, I thought it was the space station at first. I was like, come on, but the space station is going in the opposite direction, so that it's not a thing either. So, yes, go ahead in the comments below. Try to figure that one out. <laughs> um, most of you were so sure of yourselves, but unfortunately, this one is not so easily... This one is not so easily solved, apparently. But I would love to hear what you think it is. I think it's the ghost of Kraken Past, but... Uh... Yeah. With all my attempts to try to dock to a floating docking port, I, I was losing time and I was losing patience. It was already about 9 o'clock. I, I didn't have much time left. So the last idea that I had was to actually was to actually bring everything I needed to anchor the side of the mountain, place the docking port on the anchor, and then have it attach to the first of the output or the first of the base pieces. So it's all done in one shot. I ain't got to worry about it, right? Even if it does glitch out and starts floating, at least at least the base piece has a very, very large docking port where I can start adding to it, which was kind of, you know, it's kind of sad regardless because of the fact that it's way out there. And it's more like a floating base. It'd be more like a floating base than it would be a, a base on the side of a cliff, which, like I said, it's sad, but that's KSP for you. But anyway, now what was really cool was that when I was trying my damnedest to fiddle, fiddle around with this ground anchor, I knew I was running out of fuel to keep the ship propped up on the side of the cliff. I eventually got it so that it attached itself to the base part, but then I noticed that the engines right underneath the Kerbal had gone out. I had literally ran out of fuel just as I hooked up the anchor to the base part. Like, it, like at the same time I ran out of fuel, it hooked up to this. I can, I, I cannot do that again. That, that was sheer luck. If I had hesitated a second more, everybody would have slid down the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I had one more piece I wanted to try to put on there, but unfortunately the it kind of lost control right at the last bit there. And I didn't, I was all out of time. It's about 10 o'clock when I stopped recording, so I wasn't able to finish it. But at least I got the first piece on there, and it's pretty cool. I want to try to, I want to try to build like an actual usable, workable base with landing pads and everything. Um, I'm going to use like Mark III parts and kind of build downwards, maybe out to the sides a little bit. Perhaps even use a, like a cargo bay, like a dual cargo bay, like I have for the land carrier to make like a type of bay in a sense would be kind of neat i think although like i said before the kraken is gonna push everything out and have it float a, a little ways away from the actual cliff which is gonna be a real downer plus i don't know how much that little car uh that little docking port can hold before it finally snaps so i might have to anchor a few more spots uh, i don't know i don't think this is gonna work to be honest because of the krakeny nature of ksp but it's worth a shot i think the next video will be me just trying to get it to work i'm thinking maybe i'll build something where i put it all i put most of it on there in one go that'd be kind of nice but we'll see after that i think i'll work on a interplanetary ssto i already got one i'll just put the bells and whistles on it or something but anyway yes don't worry about me doing that type of video ever again anyway i'm tired i'm going to bed love you all take care have a safe day today and i'll see everybody in the next video bye for now Bye-bye.